What's up guys? This is Legacy Brick Studios bringing you a brand new video on some channel news for you guys and some stuff that I'll be selling along with a new little update on the Lego Star Wars 2013 sets and I'm going to be talking about the new pictures of the Jedi Defender class cruiser and the set number for that set is 75025. Um, it looks like a great upcoming set that I wanted to discuss. Um, uh, the last thing I talk about in this video, so definitely stick around for that. But to kick it off, I'm going to start about what I've been doing for the past week. So for the past week, I've been doing a lot of Lego stuff, actually. Um, I have been posting a lot to YouTube because I've been doing some Lego stuff. I've also had testing at school for me, and that is a big thing. So I didn't have any time to do um, YouTube. I'm sorry for that, guys. But you are going to be seeing a lot more from me this week. Um, I have a brand new mock out for you guys, and I have bought a lot of stuff, as you can see, and I am going to be getting into that right now. So, what I have bought is, okay, so on May the 4th, that weekend I think it was, um, Lego.com had a sale, and that sale was for, obviously, Star Wars Legos. And it was like, buy $45, get free shipping, or, no, yeah, buy $45, get free shipping, I think, and then pay $75 and get, um, a brand new Han Solo minifigure. So, I made two separate orders, and I paid over 75 in each one, that way I got free shipping, and also a poster came with any, like, a Star Wars purchase. And, uh, so I got two Han Solos, two posters, and other stuff. So, the Han Solo, the Tauntaun, did not come with it, but I got the Han Solo in there. And I will be doing a mini figure review on him later this week. Here's the bag that he came in. Pretty cool. I will be selling this figure when it comes around time to sell it. And that will probably be around Christmas time of this year. Uh, two posters and it is for the Yoda Chronicles. I'm not sure why this one does not have a picture like whoops this one does. Um not too sure why that is. I bought as you can see five of the ATRT brand new 2013 set. And I also bought five of the uh Clone Troopers versus Droidicas battle pack um, not really slated as a battle pack but obviously um, it is more of a battle pack type thing but that's what I bought um, those boxes over there are empty because I have bought I have opened the coin troopers versus droidicas and what I am doing with those is I am keeping all of hold on ah these clones these are just the uh, regular clone that came in that set, not the uh, olive green sergeant that we also see in that set. I'm putting him back on the mock that I have built for that set. Um, so yeah, that mock is going to be awesome because it's going to be using all the clones that I've got for that and all the droidicas I've got for that. And I'm also including the clones and because that I got for my own personal set of that. But I will be selling later on, probably Christmas time again, um, the other clones, the clone sergeant, the olive green trooper, um, the actual set that came with it, and the droidicas. So keep out watch for that, I guess you could say. And uh, so yeah, mock video this week and minifigure review this week. A lot of stuff coming your way guys but with that purchase I also for some strange reason I have no idea why no idea whatsoever I got three hold on Lego Shima sets um, I don't know why I got this set but I did um, not quite sure it just happened to be in the box um, but yeah this set actually cost $20 online, so 
I will probably be selling those sooner than Christmas, probably this summer actually, to pay for some of the summer sets that I will be buying um, to review. And those are also coming your way, guys, when I get those sets, which are like I hate when people do this. They're on like Bricklink and uh, eBay for like twice the price that it should be, and that's just not right. And people are going to buy those sets and they're going to review them before me. And I, I really don't care. <laughs> I really do not care. Okay. Other stuff that I will be selling sooner, maybe than Christmas. Or at Christmas. Somewhere between July and Christmas. I will be selling three Han Solo's and Carbonite. Um, let me set those up for you so you see them all. Three Han Solo's and Carbonite, a Mr. Krabs, I don't know why, <laughs> um, I, he was on Bricklink for sale, so, you know, <laughs> a Stormtrooper, and a Snow Trooper, whoops, Imperial Snow Trooper, that is, oh, he won't stand up, hold on, there we go, I'll be selling those one, two, three, four, five, six figures. Well, I don't know if you count those as figures, but I do. So, those will be for sale also. I'm, like, collecting a bunch of figures off Bricklink. Um, I don't know why. I just want to sell them. Maybe it would get me some more money. A little bit more than I pay for them. That way, I'm getting some profit. Um, so, yeah, I'll be selling those sometime between July 1st and Christmas. Also, a couple more things I'm selling are Lego Batman. Um, I got this a while back. I think last summer it was on sale. I actually have that same set on my shelf right now. And if you want to do like a review on that, I will. Because I got two of them. And I only have one of this though. The uh, Lego, what is it called? Lego Shima E-Wars Acro Fighter. Uh, not too sure how... I forget how did I got this oh okay I got this last Christmas uh, not Christmas um, well around Christmas time when the uh, the new 2013 winter sets came out I got that with them when I bought them on lego.com because lego.com always gives some good stuff like poly bag sets like I have away okay so that and two more things I will be selling um, you know those, uh, they had them out about a year ago. Lego Lord of the Rings, it was like a carrying case type thing. It came with a base plate. I also have one of those I will be selling sometime in the future. I don't know when exactly. Um, just keep on with the channel and then you'll figure it out. <laughs> um, I have also a Republic Freight. Yes, guys, that is from like a year or so ago. Uh, I think I got it last summer. It was on sale. So I picked it up, and I'm going to be selling it this Christmas, definitely this Christmas. That's slated for Christmas only. Uh, I think the Jordicas and Clone Troopers, I will be probably fall, fall, Christmas, somewhere between there. Um, so stay tuned, keep updated with that, guys. Um, but I will be telling you, they will be a little bit more than the price you will see in the stores. That's because it will probably be on eBay and Bricklink, and eBay... You never know what you're going to get there. Um, but yeah. What else did I want to tell you? I think that was it. I think that was it. So, on to the news for LEGO Star Wars 2013. So, we have these new pictures of the set 75025 or the Jedi Defender Class Cruiser. And, uh, here, let me, this is bugging me. It's blank. Nothing's there. Okay. Defender Class Cruiser. Um, this is pretty some sweet stuff, guys. This is from the Old Republic. I have not played that game. I'm thinking about playing it. I'm not sure. The game's kind of outdated. It's for the PC. We'll see. So, I'm um, thinking about playing it. But this set looks freaking cool, guys. Um, it's, uh, hard to explain, really. <laughs> uh, we have a guy with his horns I don't know the names of these guys guys I'm sorry he has horns like he's a Zabrak okay he's like Darth Maul and Savage so Press he has a blue lightsaber and he is a Jedi we also have 
this uh, Jedi woman here. Um, she is in Luminara's uh, type of clothing with a uh, double-bladed green lightsaber. But instead of being black like Luminara's, it is more detailed and white. And it, she looks pretty sweet. And we also have this Sith type uh, figure. I would not know how to explain who it is. Um, it's wearing a red hood and it has black hilted lightsabers with red. Two of them. Um, but a really, really detailed figure as well as the other two that I just talked about. And we have a regular Sith trooper also included. What I like about this set is that it includes two Jedi and two Sith people. And uh, what I really like about it is because um, sets don't re usually include two good guys and two bad guys so they can fight. Unless it's really a like a battle pack type set like Clone Troopers vs. Droidicas. Or uh, the uh, Old Republic battle pack uh, that we got. We don't usually see sets like that. But this big set we are seeing it and it's really cool to see. Um, the set also uses great building techniques from what I see um, using pieces that we um, normally don't use for building mocks or something and puts it into the set like lightsaber pieces as like window type things in the front I, I don't really don't know what they're called it's just lights I guess um, some cool other lights in the front there are a bunch of flick fire missiles I can see, and it has wheels for the engines in the back, and the engines look pretty darn sweet, guys, I must say. There's also uh, compartments in the ship that do open up, and uh, actually, I don't know if this is going to work, but here is a picture of the set as seen. So yeah, that's pretty cool, by the way. Whoa, whoa, that is the... Zabrat guy I was talking about, and the Luminar type chick, and Sith guys. Okay, so now that you saw that, it uh, was pretty cool. I did not know that would even work. It also comes with a holocron, a red holocron. Um, I'm sure you guys from the Old Republic know why that might be there. Um, I do not. So, yeah, pretty cool sh ship, guys. Um, what I also like about it is it has, like, dishes hanging off the side. Um, I'll... I always like when sets do that. Like the Republic Frigate is like one of my favorite sets. Um, so yeah, that about wraps up the video, guys. Um, look forward to my next video, which will be Mock Mondays tomorrow, and will be the Clone Troopers vs. Droidica's Mock. <laughs> kind of hard to explain. I'll give you a preview that just by just saying that it's in like a junkyard type feel with growing plants in a bunch of awesome clones and Jordicus surrounding them. It's pretty dang cool, I must admit. So yeah, guys, look forward to that video and look forward to the review on the Han Solo Hoth minifigure. Tauntaun not, not included. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe so you can see more uh, mocks more reviews um look forward to the summer reviews and maybe even check out this um this winter or fall or whenever i sell the stuff on my ebay that i will be posting the link to whenever i am going to sell that stuff maybe ebay or bricklink i don't know but again thank you for watching guys i read the comments all the time so definitely post comments because I read them. <laughs> um, if you want me to know something, if you want to give me an opinion on my channel, try to help me improve my channel, because I always want to improve it um, to get more subscribers. So yeah, thank you for watching again, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.